Hello good day viewers. We have a system of linear equations here that involves three unknown variables x, y, and z. And we are going to find the solution to this problem using Gaussian elimination method. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Let's get started. Um, the first step is to form an argumented matrix, a matrix of the constant coefficients. So the coefficient of x in the first equation is 1. So you write 1. Coefficient of y is 2. Coefficient of z is negative 3. Second equation, coefficient of x is 2. Coefficient of y is 5. And coefficient of z is negative 8. And the last equation, 3, 6, negative 13. 3, 6, negative 13. Then you can draw a vertical line to separate from the coefficients and um, this constant to the right-hand side. You repeat them here, 1, 4, and 7. 1, 4, and 7. This is our matrix. So we have successfully formed our matrix. What is the next step? We are going to transform the leading diagonal. This is the leading diagonal, 1, 5, negative 13. These entries, we are going to transform them to be equal to 1 each. This must be 1, this must be 1, this must also be 1. This is already 1, so we have no problem with this. We are going to pay attention to this too. Then all those entries below the leading diagonal must be equal to 0. So 2, 3, and 6 must be transformed to 0. And this is possible through row reduction. I don't have any specific trick for doing all of this, but I know it involves a lot of IQ. You have to think, reason how to do this. All right. But most importantly, always try to transform this into 0 first. 2, 6, and 3. We are going to transform them into 0. And how do we get, get started? Um, it depends. You may start with this one, this, or this. But I would like to start with this one. If I should multiply row 1 by 3, I can see this is 1. If I multiply it by 3, it becomes 3. And 3 minus 3 will give us 0. So I can use the first row to get a new third row. So I can see that row number 3 can be of 10 by multiplying row 1 by 3 then I subtract row number 3. This is a formula generated by me. It may not be necessary the way you're going to do that. All right. So just look at it. Row 1 times 3 is going to give us, let me start with this element. 1 times 3 because that's row 1, right? All of these entries are part of row 1. So we're going to multiply all of them by 3. Then we subtract uh, row number 3 to get new row number 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. Then 3 minus 3 will give us 0. I don't have much space. I could have been forming a lot of matrix. But I'm going to be deleting them. One after the other. So this becomes 0. Just by multiplying this by 3 and subtracting that 3 here. You're going to do for all of these entries, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 2 times 3, because this is row 1, right? 3 times 2 is 6. Then 6 minus 6 will give us 0. So this is 0. 3 times negative 3 will give us negative 9. And negative 9 minus, minus 13 will be negative 9 plus 13, which is positive 4. This is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So this becomes negative 4. Suppose I have enough space. I'm going to form another matrix exactly like this. So we move on. So you can see that this is 0. This is 0. Next, I would like to make this one to be equal to 0. So row number 2 
I want it to be equal to zero, the uh, first entry here. So I think I can multiply one by two, then I subtract two, that will give me zero. So I can say that two multiplied by row one minus row two to get new row two. All right. Two times one is two. Two minus two is zero. Two times two is four. Then four minus five is negative one. Two times negative three will give us negative six. Negative six uh, minus minus eight will be negative six plus eight, which is positive two. This is positive two. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So this is minus 2. We are almost done. Next, I would like to make this one 1. This, is, this should be 1 as well. This is already 1. I can see by dividing every single term in the second row, this will be positive 1. So 0 times negative 1 is 0. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. 2 times negative 1 will be negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 will be positive 2. We are almost done. We can divide this by 4. Divide this by 4. It remains 0. This remains 0. This will be 1. This will be negative 1 if you divide it by 4. So I think we are done because the leading terms are all equal to 1. And um, the entries below the leading diagonal are all equal to 0. So we're good to go. But uh, there's a situation where you have to make the top entries to be 0 but not in Gaussian elimination method. In Gaussian elimination method, what is most important is to make this entries to be equal to zero. Not even necessarily making this one to be one. But in Gauss-Jordan method, you have to make sure that all these entries are equal to zero. This zero, we only have the leading diagonals to be equal to one. So we are good to go. Now we are going to form another system of equation. This is 1x. Remember, this is x, y, z. So we have 1x, that is x, 2y, then negative 3z equals what? 1. Next, 0x plus 1y, so we have y, negative 2z equals positive 2. 0x, 0y, 1z, that is z, equals negative 1. So you can see that the value of z is exactly equal to negative 1. That is what we call back substitution. Then you take this one, you plug it back here to get y. So you can see that z will be negative 1. So this will be y equal to negative 2 times negative 1 equal to 2. This will give us what? Positive 2. And once you take that positive 2 to the other side, uh, sorry, we should have minus y minus 2 times minus 1 equal to positive 2. This will give us positive 2. And once you take it to the other side, it becomes 2 minus 2 equal to 0. So y equals 0. Then you take the whole of these two here, this and this. This will become x plus 2 times 0, because y is 0, then minus 3 times negative 1 equals 1. This is 0. This is positive 3. So you can see that x equal to 1 minus 3, because this is positive 3. As it crosses over, it becomes negative 1 minus 3. So x equal to negative 2. So you can see that x equal to negative 2, y equal to 0, and z equal to negative 1. For a bonus, I'm going to solve the same problem using Gauss-Jordan method. So let me try to 
transform this into zero, this zero, this equal to zero as well. So let's see how we can do that. Um, I can see that if I want to make this zero, I can multiply this by two and add it to this. Yes. So zero times two is zero plus zero is still zero. So we have no problem. Zero times two is zero plus one is still one. One times two is two and two plus negative two will give us zero. So this becomes zero. Negative one times two is negative two. Negative two plus two is zero. So this becomes zero. So let me see which one should I make equal to zero again. I can make this one equal to zero directly by multiplying this by three and add it to this. This will not change because they are already zero. Zero times three is zero plus one is one. Times three is zero plus two is two. Times three is three plus negative three, this will be zero. Times three will be negative three. And once you add it to this, it becomes negative two. So this becomes negative two. And what else? I want to make this to be equal to zero. I can multiply this by negative two. Then we add it to this, right? This times negative two, is zero plus one is still one this times negative two is negative two plus two is zero so this becomes zero this times negative two is zero plus zero is zero this times negative two is zero plus this is zero so you can see the solutions here uh what differentiate gauss jordan and gaussian elimination method is that in gauss jordan in the end you will see your solutions exactly here z negative one can you see that y equal to zero you see that and x equal to negative two you see that so that's the difference between them in gas jordan you will obtain your solution directly from the matrix not necessarily uh, performing any substitution in the end thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye